Good morning everyone and welcome to today's video. We're going to talk all about the food prices and a shocking discovery that I have made because all of you know that I love buying food at the discount grocery store. Well, with the increase of food prices, that means most of us have to think outside the box. We have to use food that we normally wouldn't use. We have to buy food that we normally wouldn't buy and maybe we can't have the quality of food that we once had. Today I am going to be making some pesto while I talk to you about food prices. What are some ways that we can counteract all of these high food prices? I'm going to go out to my garden for just a second here to harvest some basil and then we'll make some pesto and we'll have a good heart-to-heart -heart talk about the food prices. I'm going to harvest the broadleaf basil. And then the other basil is lime and lemon basil, but I'm not harvesting that today. The price of food has really affected a lot of people, and I can't even imagine if you had a, a large family how you are making ends meet with buying food. No matter how much you produce at home, most people still have to buy food at the grocery store. One of the things I have noticed is the big increase in the food prices in the discount grocery store. It's oftentimes food, it's oftentimes food that they had a surplus of it and it didn't sell like they thought it would so they have all this extra food but a lot of times it's expired food and what I'm noticing is I am paying premium for old expired food. It's absolutely crazy. So basically, the food that they are getting that's expired, they are getting it very cheap. But I am noticing these discount grocery stores are keeping the prices really high. Now, maybe their overhead is a lot more expensive than what it used to be. But there is a lot of pitfalls about going to the local discount grocery store. Just because it's at a discount grocery store doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be a discount. And that's how it is with all the stores. So you have to be really careful and you have to know your prices. And I realized I was overpaying for something expired. So I got some olive oil and I'll show you here when I go inside. I paid $8 and it was expired. Now it's still fresh because it wasn't opened and I'm using it today. But then when I went to our local grocery store, I went to Wise Market. Wise Market had the same on sale for $6. It was a sale, but it was not near expiration. So you have to be really careful. Just because you get it at a discount grocery doesn't necessarily mean that it's the cheapest around. In fact, I find that our local Wise Market, the food is cheaper than it is at the discount grocery store. This is the first time I have ever seen that. And so one thing is we have to learn to make food that's simple make simple ingredients, and think outside the box when it comes to food. I love grocery shopping. While some women love to go to the mall or go to high-end stores for purses and shoes and things like that, I love going to the grocery store. I love seeing all the different kind of food that they have at the grocery store. I am a foodie, but I realize I can't afford most of the food there. And I don't think I'm alone. All right, we have all this done. I'm gonna go ahead and wash it. And then let's make some pesto. And let's keep discussing this because I wanna discuss this in the comments too. I wanna know what food you can't buy anymore because of the price. And let's see if we can figure out how we can cope with the rising prices of food that's happening almost every month. This for $7.99 and at Wise Market this week, it had it on sale for $6.49. And so I overspent and it's expired. And I don't know how long it's expired, but I'm sure it's fine because it wasn't opened. So what are some things that you are doing different now since the prices of food has gone up so high? I know for me is we don't eat near as much meat. We don't eat a lot of desserts. 
many times people ask me in my videos, when am I going to make dessert videos? I don't eat dessert. We really don't eat a whole lot of dessert. That's just not how we were raised. We eat our main meals and that's about it. Now, of course, I do like a ice cream cone here and there if it's something special, but we don't have ice cream. We don't have cakes and pies and cookies. We don't keep any of that on hand. And that really helps with the cost of food as well because we're not eating extras. One thing that happened to me after I lost 100 pounds in these last two and a half years is I don't eat as much. That really has helped with our food budget as well because we're not eating as much, so we don't have to buy as much food. All right, so this is really simple how I'm making the pesto. I just have this little hand blender. We're gonna make equal parts of butter and olive oil. Then we're gonna put in the basil, and then we're gonna put in the pine nuts. And let me tell you something. Here's another really good tip for all of you. There was two packs of these pine nuts. Now I can't buy these at our store. They don't carry anything like this but I went on Amazon. There was two exact sizes. One was $8.99 and the other one was $3.99. The exact same size and amount. This one here is just an off brand and the other one was a brand name. I got this for about half the price than what I was normally going to get because I just clicked on what first popped up and that is often the most expensive. When you're searching something online, let's say you need a pack of Band-Aids, the first thing that comes up is probably gonna be the most expensive. You gotta keep searching and search by the dollar amount. So I always search from lowest to highest. That's how I do things, and I was able to save a lot of money by doing that. A couple dollars here and a couple dollars there, it makes a huge difference at the end of the month. Another thing that's really important for me is credit cards. I ha we have one credit card, but we pay it off every single month. And the points that I earn on that credit card, I can use that towards other items that I really need. So we have one credit card, we pay it off every month, that's it. And it's nice to have the credit card because there's times in our lives where we need to go out and we need to get something. One time we needed to rent a post hole digger. Well, renting that, we had to have a credit card. to talk a little bit about clothing. Now, clothing can be really expensive. I typically wear t-shirts, sweatpants. I have lots of skirts and I love my skirts and I get them at the thrift store most of the times. And there's just typical clothing. I don't wear fancy clothing normally and it's just a lot cheaper. So Amazon, when they have prime days, I can get my pants for seven and eight dollars. The t-shirts, I can get a pack of five for $20, and they last me year after year. The only way I get new clothing is if I can do a free product review for people, or when I lost weight. When I lost weight, I needed to get newer clothing because my clothing was just so big on me. But typically, I get my t-shirts and sweatpants either on Amazon when they have their sales or Walmart online. I don't do any clothing shopping at the regular, at the real store. I do everything online. That's another thing about online. You have to know your prices and every once in a while you can get some really good deals online. You just gotta wait. Like Old Navy has huge sales in the summertime and a couple times a year they have the free shipping. Match that with their sales. I got a pair of 10 flip-flops for $8. It was absolutely amazing last year, and I use three pairs each year. So I have enough of new flip-flops for a couple years. And it's just know your prices and don't go binge shopping. Just know your prices and wait till you get a sale, because you always do. All right, I am done with the pesto, and I'm gonna pop it in the freezer for about 24 hours. Then I will put it in little plastic bags. We love it with rice as well and with vegetables. Thank you guys so much for spending a little time with me and we talk about the prices. It's every store has that. What they have is a flyer and it comes out every week or bi-weekly and there's a certain type of food, different foods on there that they have at really below price to get people in the store. 
They don't like people like me so much because I go in just for those sales and I don't buy anything else. Lots of times I will notice that things are higher priced other than the few things that they have that they really want to bring people in. That's one way I save money. Another thing is don't always go buy the discount. So at our local discount grocery store, there is a cart and it says discounted food because it was dented. Well, it wasn't discounted at all. In fact, it was the same price as the other food they had on the shelf. I'm watching that. That is something I have never seen them do before, that they're actually not being honest. It's not discounted at all. If it is discounted, it may be only by 10 cents. You know, when it used to be deeply discounted food, they don't have that anymore. So they put on a reduced sign or a special sign and it makes you think because sometimes the prices are the same. Another thing is this, Black Friday sales. A lot of times they'll say, 50% off, but what you don't understand is they upped the price before they put the 50% off. That is a big trick that they are using and it's all everywhere. So if you see something and it's saying it's 50% off, be very careful, my friends, because they might have just added the price higher. Our local thrift store, twice a year, they take their inventory out and they add new inventory. And over those weeks, the prices of the stuff is twice as high. And after a while, the prices come down because they know they're getting new people in because they have all new inventory. These are tricks that people use to try to get money out of your wallet. And you just got to be very leery about when something is too good to be true. What does mommy and daddy always tell us? It is. There's not always a bargain when you think there is, but every once in a while, you'll get yourself a really good deal. And then, you can be really excited, right? Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right, pesto's done.